Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a wrap-up of your weekend weather and a look ahead into next week, which does, again, have the possibility of some thunderstorms out there, not all that much. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. If you've never been here before, again, this is our weekend wrap-up of what goes on with the weather across the Mid-South. A little bit more time than what we get into a usual on-air weathercast, so we've got about, about 10 to 20 minutes or so, depending on how many questions we get asked and if you have any questions about the forecast we'd be glad to wrap up a little bit more about what you've been seeing out there blue bar at the bottom of your screen more weather information there seven day forecast and all this information here all available at this website wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to pick up more about what's going on with the forecast across much of the rest of the mid-south love to know about where your locations are give us an idea as to where you're located city and state is fine entire mailing address not necessary and if you've got any questions about what we can change change around here when it comes to offering more weather information. If you'd like to see more satellite, more worldwide weather, anything like that, all you have to do is email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. If you've got any weather pictures, we'd love to be able to see those. We don't have too many of them to feature right now because we didn't get any new ones from over the weekend. We're posting some of the sunset pictures tonight as fast as we can, so we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Uh, Larry Ratliff, yes, Redbirds had a very uh, good day today down at AutoZone Park. Uh, to Mike City will have more on sports coming up in just a little bit. Trinity Smith, will it rain tonight? Not in the Mid-South from what it looks like at this point in time, so pretty quiet for right now into and around the area. And, of course, we'll have a lot more on the weather forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, so stay tuned for that with a complete wrap-up of all the day's news, weather, and sports. Next several hours, again, it's going to be getting much cooler out there with the dry air in place, very dry air, in fact, with humidity values today in the lower 20% range. Numbers will be sliding into around the upper 40s for the metro area as we head toward daybreak tomorrow morning. North of I-40 tomorrow, we could even see some temperatures in the lower 40s. So again, some parts of the area could see a need for the coat again, especially for the kids getting out and waiting for the school bus stop into and around tomorrow. So we could see a few areas of the possibility of some more showers later on this week for there. Avery Nellum, how bad do you think it'll get this week in Tippa County? Uh, if we're talking about severe weather, not too good on that. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little while. Overnight, again, mainly clear skies expected. Not a lot to be seen where it comes to any inclement weather. Very dry out there. Sunrise tomorrow morning looking good. And again, a bit on the chilly side, mid to upper 40s for the metro. But could see some lower 40s around northwest Tennessee. The Boot Hill and northeast Arkansas could be picking up some fairly chilly numbers out across the Mid-South. So again, something to where we could see a little bit more in the way of chilly conditions out there for right now. Uh, Donna Kelsey Faulkner, evening from the Ville. Can we see the satellite in Collierville at 841 tonight? Uh, yes, we'll talk about that as well coming up here in just a little bit. 62 calm and clear in Banner, Mississippi. Okay, thank you very much for that one. Ashley Norris, severe weather for Friday. Doesn't look like it right now, but we'll talk about that again coming up here in just a little bit. Ole Miss campus, active. A lot of people out and about for tonight looking at the student union from the Crosby Hall construction cam and a few clouds drifting over the trees in the grove for tonight. Not that much going on out there. Looking around the area, and apologies for the focus out there for this, but we do again see, oops, wrong direction. Hang on a second. New controls. There we go. That's a little bit better. Moon rising, full moon tonight over the eastern horizon. And round about this area here, keep an eye because the moon and Jupiter will be rising together very close to each other tonight. Still a little bit too bright to see it. Jupiter not quite over the haze layer in the horizon, but you should be able to see that heading up here in just a little bit. And also a nice view from around Poplar and Ridgeway looking back through the antenna farm on the Hilton East Memphis camera into and around the area uh, for right now. Lori Jones, thank you very much for that. Vince Tetwan the third, welcome from around Kansas City, if I'm not mistaken. One of my friends from Topeka West High School. Thanks for checking in from up north. Quiet here in the Mid-South area as well. Storm Tracker 3S, little if anything showing up for right now. Again, clean sweeps across the area. Very dry air. Hardly anything in the way of cloud cover to speak of at this time. Our next storm system is getting organized it's still way out west. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Wow. Okay. Well, weather in Iceland for right now is doing pretty well. Give me just a second while I uh, correct this. I think we're going to need to get the screen fixed at some point in time. Our next storm system 
stay right there, is going to be heading our direction into the next few days. Still getting organized out this direction, but it's going to be heading into the Midwest. We'll talk about severe weather chances coming up in just a little bit. Cool this evening, getting cooler as well. We've got numbers again back into the lower to mid-60s across the Mid-South, just past 8 o'clock on Sunday evening. Winds have calmed down a little bit. We've got, again, north Easterly winds at 9 at Memphis International Airport, so a little bit on the breezy side, but not that bad at this point in time, so not seeing much of anything else in the way of very cool weather for right now. Through News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures again very much on the cool side, back in the lower 50s across much of the area. Daybreak, Todd Demers forecast starting at 4.30 tomorrow morning back in the mid-40s. Now notice again over the entire weekend, the winds were out of the north-northeast, and that's what helped keep the temperatures downwards for today. Watch the moving lines on screen as we go into tomorrow and you're going to see the winds start to turn back out of the southeast and that's going to do a number on our temperatures into tomorrow. Notice we're going to be a lot warmer tomorrow than what we were today. Temperatures in the high 70s in some parts of the area so looking great for the kids as they head home from school but getting to school in the morning going to be a little bit on the chilly side out there mid to upper 70s for highs tomorrow getting into Tuesday morning not quite as chilly back in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s and some chances of precipitation starting to make their way into the mid-south area over the next few days again not showing too much of a problem for temperatures into tomorrow mid to upper 70s uh, into the area for what we're going to be looking for into tomorrow. Uh, Eddie Gossett Sr., how much wind tomorrow? About 5 to 10 miles per hour. Doesn't look really like too much more than that at this point in time, so good uh, conditions out there for right now. Everybody else, thank you very much for checking in. Ripley, Tennessee, Elvis Etheridge, 63 degrees, clear skies, and watching that full moon. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Brian Clark, sorry to hear you're under the weather with flu. Hope everything gets better on that. And again, into around Tippa County, Ripley, Mississippi, Nancy Allen spending most of the day outside. I wish I could have said the same, but uh, had to get back indoors again to get everything else taken care of here. A couple more clouds possible as we go into around Tuesday. Temperatures heading back into the lower 80s. And then getting into Wednesday, again, lower to mid 80s or so. So much more on the mild side. Won't have to get the jacket out except for the mornings. Maybe a few 50s out there, but that's going to be about all. Then as we get into around Friday... This is going to be our next best chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll talk a little bit more about the severe weather chances coming up a little bit later tonight. But the good news at this time says we don't look for any severe weather in the Mid-South through the rest of the week. Thunderstorms possible by Friday, according to this forecast right now. Later on this week, that could change. But severe weather chances for the time being does not look to be an issue for the Mid-South. Possible major severe weather outbreak back into the Plain States as we go toward Wednesday and Thursday well to the northwest of the Mid-South. So as of right now, Sunday evening, we do not stand a threat of severe weather. So very good to tell everybody about that. We're actually heading into that period of time, May through about late October, where things are a lot more quiet around here and we don't get a lot of severe weather coming on through. So about to enter those summer doldrums, so to speak, into the course of the next several months. Cinco de Mayo on Saturday, a few lingering showers, maybe a few thunderstorms possible early during the morning hours, pre-dawn, for the rest of the holiday. Again, coming up, looking like it's going to be very much on the mild side and mostly sunny. About the same on Sunday with a few more clouds sticking around from time to time. And we're going to throw in a slight chance of a few showers way into the forecast future by about 9 to 10 days out, Tuesday into Wednesday. Slight possibility of a few stray showers out there, but beyond that, this is going to be our major possibility of anything happening here for Friday. Now, could we wind up with severe weather? Could that be introduced into the forecast into the next couple of days? Absolutely. Does it look, does it look that way for now? No, so at least we've got that going for us. But we will be watching that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the evening. Coming up at about 8.36 or so, it's not going to be, again, spectacularly bright. 
uh, away from city lights is going to be your best opportunity to see this. It's a United States military reconnaissance satellite, USA-186, and it's going to be rising in the southeast. It'll be going right over the area where the moon and Jupiter are located in the east-southeast and then going toward the north, setting between Polaris and the northern horizon, fading out at about 841 this evening. So again, from rising in the southeast, setting in the northern skies for tonight. But once again, your best bet is going to be to get an unobstructed view of the horizon away from trees and buildings. And then you'll see a semi-bright point of light making its way along that track going going back toward the northern sky. So you may see, again, something at least there anyway. This is the brightest object in the skies tonight, and it's not really all that bright. So this is going to be about as good as we get for this evening. Now, about 924 in a little bit more than an hour, an Iridium satellite will flare almost at exactly the same place that the satellite that we're going to be talking about, the previous one, the USA-186, will be dropping down toward the horizon. The Iridium satellites are still in orbit. They're a defunct communication network satellite uh, network up there. And as the satellites tumble on through, they reflect the light of the sun briefly down toward the observer at the surface. So around the northwestern horizon, just to the left and below Polaris, the North Star, you're going to see a bright point of light come into view and then fade out in about 10 to 20 seconds. It doesn't take that long. You have to be looking in the right general direction for this, and it'll be heading down toward the horizon. Again, that'll be at about 924 for this evening if you'd like to take a look at that. And again, won't be spectacularly bright, but it should be easily viewable because it'll be the only moving thing set across the backdrop of stars. There won't be any blinking lights like on an airplane, so you'll be able to see that relatively easily on here. And if you'd like to know more about astronomical stuff, check out my social media web pages because the Memphis Astronomical Society will be having their monthly meeting coming up this Friday at Christian Brothers University, and I'll have more about that coming up a little bit later on. 64 in Big Town Sledge, Mississippi. Gwendolyn Pugh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Bonnie Cummins, beautiful day outside today. Thank you very much for that one. And Toby Town, Betty Livingston, thank you very much for checking in. Bobby Robinson in Holly Springs, Mississippi. Through the rest of the weekend, catch my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Oldies 102.3, Country 92.5, and I'll be back on with Bob and Josh bright and early tomorrow morning on Talkback Live. That's on AM 730 in the Mid-South area. If you're outside the Mid-South and can't pick up their signal, TalkbackLiveNetwork.org, and you can pick up more about sports chatter in the Mid-South. Tiger Talk coming up on Tuesday. A lot of chatter about the NFL draft coming up in the next couple of days, so plenty of sports chat and, of course, my News Channel 3 forecast as well into the area. Todd Demers has your forecast starting bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak at 4.30. And as an added bonus, in about 20 minutes, I'll have an update on whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving overseas and you're back home on the home front, they also serve those who are back home. And if you have anybody whose weather you'd like to catch up on, we'll show you how and where you can get the information on your computer that'll be coming up just past the bottom of the hour on my Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook pages, so you have an opportunity to catch up on a lot of stuff going on there, so tune in for more on that. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, please email me, red bar right there, austin.onic at wreg.com. If you'd like to know more about what, again, oh, sorry, that's a clock. I'm sorry, two-point typeface, kind of hard to see. The blue bar right there, that's the email address, austin.onic at wreg.com. Nice in Horn Lake, Steve Buckner, thank you very much, and thank you very much to everybody else for checking in for this evening. More coming up at 10. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. Again, Mike Sadie has a busy day in sports. And of course, I'll have more with your complete forecast getting you out of the weekend and starting into next week. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with an update from the WREG TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on, on air and online. And join me for another update with weather overtime with weather where the troops are coming up at 8.35 tonight on my Facebook page. Thanks for joining us.